Hi everyone, Josh here, and you're watching this video because you want to know how to connect your laptop to a desktop or another laptop computer and use it as a second monitor. In this video, we're going to focus on a Windows 10 operating system for both the computer and the laptop that we're going to be using. The good news is that as long as you're using a wireless connection for your desktop and your laptop, it's incredibly easy to connect your laptop as a second monitor to your PC. With that said, there are a couple of things that we need to do on both our laptop and our desktop PC to get it ready to work. Let's check it out. The first stop is the laptop. We wanna make sure that the laptop will accept projection onto its monitor from another PC, in this case, our desktop here. Go to the Windows search bar and type projection settings. On this screen, you'll see all the settings that used to control how Windows 10 will allow another PC to project onto your laptop screen. Now, if you've gotten to this screen and you see that these boxes are grayed out and you can't change any of the settings, you're gonna to need to take one more step. Go back to your control panel home and then click on the apps category. On this screen, you'll see a lot of the apps that your computer has installed, but you'll also see something called optional features under the apps and features heading. Click on that and you're going to need to add a feature. The feature that you're going to add is wireless display. Now I already have this installed so it's not going to show up in this list but if you don't have it installed yet you'll simply need to click on that and install it. Just a warning it does take a few minutes to install it even on a capable machine. The first setting basically allows other Windows devices and Android devices to project onto this laptop. We wanna make sure that we've selected either available everywhere on secure networks or available everywhere. I'm gonna select available everywhere. The second setting determines what happens when another PC asks to project onto this laptop. In this case, I wanna keep it to every time a connection is requested, I'm gonna to have to allow it. I'm not gonna request a pin though because that's just an annoying step. The last option that you have is whether or not you want the laptop to be discoverable when it's not plugged into an AC adapter. This is optional, but typically if you're gonna use your laptop as a second monitor, you wanna make sure it's plugged in so the battery doesn't die. Now it's a good idea to take note of the PC name, in this case, my laptop's name, because you're gonna see it again when we try to connect to it wirelessly. Next, we'll move to the desktop to connect to our laptop as a wireless display. If you're enjoying the video so far, go ahead and drop a like. Go ahead and right click on your desktop and click display settings. You'll see all of the monitors that you currently have connected to your desktop PC. If you scroll down, you'll see connect to a wireless display. Click that. This brings up a panel on the right side of your screen that's gonna show you all of the options available to connect to as a wireless display. In this case, we're gonna look for our laptop name that we saw earlier, this one. Click on the device and ask it to connect and then it might take a minute for it to connect in. Now that you've clicked to connect onto this device on your desktop PC, we need to switch back over to our laptop. Back on your laptop, you're gonna go down to your notification bar on the very bottom right of your desktop taskbar. You're gonna see here that there's a connection request from the PC that you just asked to connect to your laptop. In this case, it says desktop is attempting to project to your laptop. I'm gonna go ahead and allow it once and click okay. Now you see the laptop is working to convert the display over after a few seconds, you'll see that your laptop display has converted to an additional display for your desktop PC. Now, I should point out at this point that you can still use your laptop just like normal. In fact, if you hit Alt-Tab, you'll see that this is simply a Connect app running that allows the screen to display on your laptop screen. If you would like to open up an app on your laptop, you're welcome to do so by dragging your mouse pointer down to the bottom and waiting for your real taskbar to pop up. From there, you can open an app on your laptop just like normal and then switch back and forth to using it as a display for your desktop. Now, let's put the laptop aside and go back to our desktop. Back on our desktop, we're still in our display settings. And if we scroll back up to the top, we see that now we have a fourth display option on our display arrangement. The fourth display is our laptop screen. Because I already had three monitors on this particular desktop, I have already changed a few settings that makes, that makes this look normal. So I have gone down to multiple displays and changed it to extend desktop to this to extend desktop to this display. What this does is makes every screen an extension of the original desktop screen. So you can move windows from one screen to the next without any issue. 
To use our laptop screen as a monitor in this case, we have to figure out where we're gonna have it in our setup. Since I don't have a lot of room on the desk, we're just gonna have to play around with the laptop so you can see how to use it. In this configuration, my laptop is kind of below the main screen in my setup. So what I'm gonna do is go into the display settings on my desktop, and I'm gonna make sure that my fourth monitor, which is the laptop monitor, is below the main monitor in my system. I'm gonna move it down there, and I'm gonna make sure to hit apply. Windows now knows that the laptop screen is below my main screen. So when I, when I move my mouse pointer down below the bottom of my main display, it'll come down onto the laptop display because it is the fourth monitor and it's listed as below the main screen. If you wanted to put your laptop monitor to the left, to the right of your main screen, all you would need to do is drag that monitor into a different location in the display settings. Now that all the preparation has been done on your laptop and your desktop, it'll be much easier to use your laptop as a second monitor next time. You'll just need to connect to it as a wireless display and double check that all the settings are the same as how you left them. If this video has been helpful for you, please drop a like on the video and consider subscribing to the channel for more how-to videos, tips and tricks, and any other questions that you might have about laptops, desktop PCs, and Windows. If you have any questions that weren't answered in the video, feel free to drop a comment as well, and I'll be sure to answer that for you, and maybe even make another video in the future answering your question. Thanks for watching.